All right, come put them up and hold the camera at the same time. This one just has um, a variety of napkins. These are pretty much the bigger size um, that I keep in this basket. And then, as you can see, it's got some tags just sitting here. And then on the bottom shelf, uh, I got some burlap in this bag. But then this one has a variety of napkins from my shorter ones to my taller ones. And they seem to all fit in there pretty good. And then get this back in here. I'll do that later. Um, let's see. This one, it fits right underneath my uh, table. Sorry about the jerking around, or the movement, I should say. Okay, this one is pretty much a variety. My catch-all drawer from scissors to a ruler and some beads and then some of this here for its foil and then some rubber bands some um, pens then in the next drawer this one just keeps pretty much I keep my rubber gloves to the popsicle sticks and one of the, a couple of the glass blocks that I don't really use. This one has a variety of my glues, my sponges, and my rollers. Um, and then I just wash my sponges and then throw them back in here while they sit on the counter to dry. Okay, then the very bottom, that's where um, I keep my extra daubers. Um, this is my toilet papers, some glue sticks. These are all my clips, clamps when I'm making a mini album and then I put I cut up some of the chipboard so that when I use the clamps um, they don't leave marks because I found that's what they do do something with them anyways they leave marks and then these are just some more bags of glue sticks so that takes care of that section of it. Okay, right underneath my table. Um, you'll see on the top shelf, that's where I got some of my tape runners. Um, and in my top drawer, here are some more ink pads. My verse mark. And my Rangers perfect medium. This one has all of my shimmer stuff. Let's put it that way. Um, these are some really old. These were Stampin' Ups. They're Radiant Pearls. Um, these are my perfect pearls. That kind of stuff is what I keep in here. These are my Pearl X. And then my gum Arabic. And then these here, Pearl X ones. Just a variety of colors. Well, he might not be able to see too well because of the lighting. And that's more Pearl X. But that's basically all this drawer has. 
And then that way I can make, and see here are some of the eyeshadows um, that I picked up a variety of colors of them to make my own glimmer mist. And then this here is anything to do with chalks and my watercolored um, crayons and then my metallic pencils. That's what's in that drawer. This one has all my embossing powders. And then I started doing this. That way I can tell what color they are because sometimes, oh this one's pretty good. You see that color, but that's how it comes out. And then even like this, this has got a variety of the red and gold, but it comes out like that. But anyways, that's my embossing powders. And same way with this. And this is that piccolo. And then, oh, I forgot, this one is a Lindsay Stamp Gang um, embossing powder. But that's what's in that drawer. This one has all my stickles. Um, this one is like oh, my Studio G. And then like this is like the Stardust stickles. These here. But I've got a variety of colors of them. And then I also have the Distressed Stickles. Um, that's all that's in that drawer. And then this one is some of my tape refills. The ones that I get at real quick. And then I also, underneath, I'll back up a little bit, but I also have my big spray bottle of water. Usually I keep over here in this corner, but underneath here is my garbage can, which I'm going to pull that out so I can show you the rest. Um, this is my tripod, then my mixed media paper, a cutting mat, these are my embossing. One is Martha Stewart's. And then, well, this. And then the score pail. Depends what I'm doing is the one I pull out. Because I like Martha Stewart's because she's got the in-between the halves. Um, but on the top, I use my bowls for, um, coloring like flowers. I also have a couple of extra mats. This is the non-craft meat. Sticky. Mmm, try that again. The craft mat, the non-stick sheet. This one is for um, like your oven, so stuff don't, it makes it so it don't, it's easier to clean or you don't have a mess, but it can stand the heat, so I use it when, when I do my flowers. Um, this here, I just bought it. What I plan on doing is, which you'll see in time when I actually get it going, it's uh, two inches, but I plan on cutting the mixed media paper up, and then um, I'm not into journaling. I do not write. I don't like to write. It's sloppy, whatever, but I just don't do that. But I want to pl plan on making one where um, different techniques, that way I, if I really like something I've got, something to go back on and know how to do it type thing or I like it or I don't like it at least I try it deal 
Okay, on this shelf, oh, I also have this here container, which it's my catch-all one. Um, I just bought these, so I really haven't tried these. You just add some water. And I haven't even taken this out of the package yet. But I use these. These are my extra ones. Um, for flowers. Roll on them. That kind of thing. Um, I just drew a blank. A sander. And then these are some scents. Um, but that's pretty much it for that. That's basically a catch-all. And then I also have, let me grab these first, for embossing, jewelry, that kind of thing. Uh, these here are my blocks. A variety of sizes. And then this is a Stampin' Majig. This thing I love. That is the handiest thing to have. Then a uh, bow easy. Make your bows perfect. Um, I use this for flowers and punching holes and stuff. Basically, that's it and that. Um, my bigger blocks. This is for... You put water in it and clean your brushes. Um, pa empty paper towel holder, whatever. This is basically the bigger, uh, oops, bigger thing to stamp with. You just put your stamp on it and then press it down. Um, some glues, some tapes. Them are just easy to access versus going into a drawer, basically, is what I use that for. Um, put these back. Then underneath, I keep these. I keep it. Oh, let's see. It'll sit still now for a second where you can get a view of it. This is one of the bigger boxes. Um, I use uh, wash rags for everything. Um, no, they do never get used down in the bathroom. That's They stay up here. But my blue ones, I use those for, well, they were the nastiest. But now I started using them for when I need to wipe glue off, that kind of thing. So they're getting pretty well used. The white ones and the beige ones I'm using for colored inks. And then a roll of paper towels. And then back behind here. Oh, these were some of the things that I had gotten in swaps. Um, I'm still trying to find places for them because I just put my shelves up. Okay, I gotta move my chair. Then, right next to me, this shelf, this one here, I only have kept it for two things my cutting, one of my cutting mats, and then um, the smaller score pail. This one here is my catch all basket. Um, stuff I need to put away, that kind of thing, but it's not very big. That way, when that gets full, I don't have a big basket to hurry up and put things away. And these, or I haven't found, or I haven't done nothing with them yet. But that's for my mat and a tool. And then, these are some of the, I gotta cut these yet. But, I'll show you one of them. What I do is keep, whoops, the lens. 
I keep some of these. There's some of the, let's see, this one is digital images that I have. Um, I have printed them out, and as you can see, I have colored some. But most of these that I keep in here, well, I've cut out a lot, but normally I would like do their face and hair and then later finish them off. Here's another one. And these are Lala Lands. I think these are so cute. I love those. Um, I, see, I've done... This one, I think, is uh, Paper Shelter. Yeah. But what I have done also with these, I have put them in alphabetical order for whatever company they are, um, is how I've worked that. Okay. But that's how that one works. Hold on. 